It's so great to see everybody uh, here today. This is, this is a historic event. We are truly standing at the threshold of history uh, and of the future as we reactivate uh, these squad, this squadron and this group. Our shared values, that's what we're protecting. And if I want to show that to our allies and partners, I want to bring them to Fort Smith. I want to bring them to a community like this. That's what I want to show them. I want to show them that because they'll see those values, they'll recognize the best parts of their own values and what we all have in common. And once we do that, and we understand a common purpose for what we're fighting for, that is the game changer. That is what makes the technology of the F-35 with the shared values and the common purpose in what we're protecting truly, truly unstoppable in the face of our adversaries. It is, a, it is such an incredible honor to be here and very proud to be a small part of this really special ceremony and special day for the state of Arkansas, for the country, and frankly for the entire world. As we're just a couple days away from the 4th of July, I can't think of a better way to kick off celebrations that will take place all over the country than being surrounded by men and women bravely serving in our nation's armed forces. In just a few months, Ebbing will welcome pilots from Poland to learn how to operate F-35s on NATO's front lines. They'll be just the first in a rotating team of pilots from allied nations around the globe. We stand on the frontier of a new era of military competition. And here in Fort Smith, frontiers are in our blood. From this town's founding, the U.S. Army and U.S. Marshals rode out of Fort Smith to defend American settlers in the Wild West. Starting soon, airmen trained right here in Fort Smith will fly out to defend American interests across the world. I want to give my deepest thanks to everyone here who made this training program possible. Thank you and God bless.